What you're looking at here is a wastewater treatment plant design that I had uh, worked on uh, a few years ago. It's actually in construction. It's almost completely built now, but um, about a, three weeks ago, I had uh, posted a video outlining how to leverage Dynamo to perform clash detections directly within Civil 3D. Um, if you haven't had a chance to look at it, take a look at um, my, my previous posts on my YouTube channel. But in any event, I wanted to really see how we can push the boundaries, the limits with uh, this Dynamo script for performing clash detections. So I wanted to see if we could apply some uh, clearances uh, as variables, interchangeable variables, uh, to make sure we've we're maintaining separation between the different pipes, whether it be um, the process piping for the yard piping, but uh, also the water pressure pipes uh, for the services. We've got sanitary sewer going on in this site. We also have uh, storm drainage networks. And this site was actually a, a very unique site. It was the, the highest elevation was at uh, 20 feet above sea level. So it's right along the coast. So we were very limited in the vertical space that we were um, allowed to, to lay a lot of this geometry, a lot, a lot of the piping out within the site. Um, so it was definitely pretty challenging, uh, but a lot of fun in the meantime as well. So as you can see, there's quite a bit going on, on underneath the, the surface with all these different pipes. And yeah, it uh, looks pretty cool in my opinion. Um, so just to give you an idea of what it looks like, and if we go back to the top view, just to get an overall view again of the site, of all the networks going on. And show you how this script is going to be applied. So if we open up Dynamo, on the left we've got, uh, obviously we always start with the current document, then we have the network configurations which is calling up the pressure networks as well as the gravity, and then we have all remaining 3D objects. So um, per my previous videos we all I've included um, if you're going to bring in Revit models as 3D objects or extracting corridor solids you could apply that as well and here we have the clearance separation definitions so right now for this particular um, script I'm going to just apply a 12 inch separation clearance it's going to detect any any pipes that were, are within um, 12 inches of the water and process, and then 18 for the storm and sanitary sewer. So let's go ahead and run this. And as you can see, we've got a number of conflicts being detected. So if we right click, select similar, we can see where these are actually all located throughout the site. Now, if we go to uh, properties, we could see that there are 41 in total. So it's a great way of identifying quickly where these conflicts reside. So remember, we had 41 with these parameters. If we change these, let's go 18 for the water and 24 for the storm and sanitary. Let's run it again. Check our drawing. You can see there's uh, a few more. So we went from 41 to now 51 conflicts. And yeah, again, it's a great way to quickly identify those locations, making sure that our design is in accordance with regulations and, and so on. So I've made this script available on my blog, designvisualization.com. And if you have questions, feel free to reach out, stevewalls at hotmail.com. Um, I'd love to hear from you. Get your thoughts, ideas, see how, for, how much further we could push the boundaries with Dynamo. Thanks.